Schneider National says it has kept about 1,300 illegal drug users off the roads by going an extra step. The trucking industry requires the drivers to take a urine test. But Schneider officials say a hair-based test should also be the standard. Schneider National says that uh, Fox 11's Bill Miston reports this evening that uh, some area drug testing companies are seeing more and more companies using the additional screening. You um, proceed to cut the hair to the scalp right on the crown. Jackie Melke has been in the employee drug testing business for about seven years. The urine test has long been the industry standard. You don't need a bathroom. However, she says recently more companies are requiring potential or current employees to take a hair-based drug test. This can be done anywhere. That includes medical fields and transportation. About six months ago is when I, it really got hot and heavy with the talk of the hair testing and we had seen companies sign it up. One area company doing both tests is Eschwaben and based Schneider National. One of the things that uh, uh, we recognize is we're in a safety sensitive vocation. Schneider National Safety and Security Vice President Don Osterberg says the company started doing both urine and hair testing in 2008. Since then, the company has tested about 40,000 driver and mechanic applicants. Of that, about 119 failed the urine test and hair test. However, about 1,300 failed only the hair test. So the good news from our perspective is we've got 1,300 commercial drivers who are not driving an orange truck today. The bad news is they're likely driving a truck for a carrier who doesn't use hair testing and they're on the highways with our families today, which is unacceptable. That's why Osterberg wants hair-based testing to be the industry standard. Congress recently ordered the Transportation Department to establish a national clearinghouse to track drivers' positive drug and alcohol test results. However, that will only show urine test results. As soon as you have those amount of strands. Some might say requiring a hair test infringes on an applicant's privacy, but Osterberg says safety trumps privacy when it comes to keeping America's roads safe. Now if you say, gee, you, you missed the opportunity to hire some people that were chronic drug users, I'd say so be it, uh, because frankly we don't want them. Osterberg doesn't expect hair-based testing to become regulation or law immediately, but he says he is working to make it happen. In Ashwaubenon, Bill Miston, Fox 11 News. Osterberg says other Schneider National employees, ones who are not truck drivers or mechanics, are also required to have successfully passed a urine drug test before they can be hired, but a hair drug test is not required.